welcome to Love and Life's Journey DIY. I'm Chantel and I'm so glad you're here. In today's video, I'm going to be making a couple of DIYs using these little wooden easels from Dollar Tree. And these would be great for Mother's Day gifts, but they could also be used for any occasion. So like for birthdays or Christmas, or even just to make for a friend, just to let them know that you love them. So let's not wait any longer. Let's jump in and get started. I found these wood easels in the Crafter Square section at Dollar Tree and I was really excited to use these in some DIYs. So I'm going to be using this and I'm also going to be using one of these unfinished wood trays also from Dollar Tree. To start off I'm going to remove the label from the back of the tray. A really easy hack for this is to use a hairdryer or a heat gun and then I am going to uh, just go over this lightly with some sandpaper just to get rid of any little splinters. Then I'm going to give this a coat of paint using some black chalk paint. This is uh, Waverly chalk paint from Walmart uh, in the color ink. It's basically just black. And of course you can paint this any color you want to customize it to go with uh, the decor or the look that you are wanting. And I am painting the entire piece inside the little squares, the tops of the edges, and also around the sides and the back. If you are returning to my channel, thank you so much. And if you are new, welcome. And if you like Dollar Tree DIYs and DIYs on a budget, then be sure to hit that subscribe button. I chose four different photos that I wanted to print off and I just printed these on cardstock on my printer and then I'm going to use my paper trimmer to cut them apart and then I measured the inside of the little boxes in my wooden tray and I'm going to just trim the photos to fit inside those boxes. So now I'm going to use some matte finish Mod Podge and I am going to just put these inside the little boxes. So I am putting a good amount of Mod Podge on the bottom of each square and then I will put my photo on. Now I know some people uh, put Mod Podge over the top right away. I feel like that makes it wrinkle more and so I will uh, put the Mod Podge down put my photo down and then let that dry for just a little bit before I actually go over the top with another coat of Mod Podge. And once I've gone over the top of all four pictures, I'm going to set that aside to dry. And I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to embellish this, so like any good crafter, I dug out my box of miscellaneous embellishments and just started digging through. There are all kinds of things in here. I have um, old keys, I have broken necklaces, I have uh, brooches, I have just miscellaneous beads and um, embellishments left from my old scrapbooking days. There's just all kinds of stuff in here. So I just started digging through to see what I might want to use. And actually for this one I'm going to keep it fairly simple because I'm going to give this to my daughter for Mother's Day. I know that sounds backwards but this is her first Mother's Day and so I wanted to give her a little something. And since her decor style is more minimalist I'm just going to keep it fairly simple. So I decided on this ribbon from Dollar Tree. This goes with the colors that she has in her home. And I am just going to wrap this around the outside of the little tray. And I'll use a little hot glue to secure it along the way. So I thought about painting the easel black as well, but I actually like the contrast and it will go really nice in her home where she has a lot of kind of natural things in her home. And then I found this little 
button brad, I guess you'd call it, just in my scrapbooking stuff. I'm going to put a little piece of the ribbon through that button and I'm going to put that on the top of the easel. I also added a little charm, but the battery died on my camera so I didn't get that on film, but I just hung it with some little twine from the button and you'll see that here in a minute. Then I used some hot glue and attached this to the top of the easel. Now when you glue something on the top, you want to make sure you leave that center back leg of the easel free so it well, can open and close. And that's all I'm going to do to this one. Of course, you could embellish yours as little or as much as you like. For my next project, I'm going to be using this cutting board sign that was in Dollar Tree for Easter. And I'm going to be removing the little uh, tacks that are in the corners of the sign just because I don't want to get paint on them. I am going to save them because I will be putting them back on the sign. Next, I'm going to use some chalk paint. This is Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the color of linen white and I'm going to paint over that uh, design that's in the center. I do recommend going over this with a very light coat of paint at first because the design is just paper. If you get it too wet it will kind of start to wrinkle or bubble. So just do a light coat at first and let that dry completely before you do a second or third coat. And I think I did have to do about four, uh, maybe even five coats to cover some of the, the design on this. Next I am using just a teeny bit of Waverly Antique Wax and this little dry chippy brush from Dollar Tree and I am dry brushing a little bit of this brown paint over the top just to uh, get rid of kind of that stark white and have it blend in a little bit more. And then I'm also going to add some of this same paint or the antique wax uh, to the back part of the sign to darken it up a little bit. And if you are new to crafting, dry brushing just means putting a very little bit of paint on a dry brush and lightly brushing it over your project so that just a little bit of paint stays on your project. So I want to add a design to the center of my sign here and there are lots of options such as this uh, wall decal from Dollar Tree. You could use part of that. They also have uh, lots of other styles. Uh, for any kind of decor that you would like to use. I'm going to go more with a farmhouse style on this, so I am using these rub-on transfers that I picked up in the Crafter Square section at Dollar Tree. So this is going to be a decor piece that is also multifunctional. So I'm making this as like a recipe holder, but it could also hold just a, a picture. So I had this little clothespin in my stash. It was gray and I wanted it to be brown. So I'm just giving it a coat of brown paint and then I am going to hot glue this to the top of my sign. Next I'm going to cut out the rub-on transfers that I want to use and position them on my piece before I ever start attaching any of them. I'm going to lay out all of them until I'm happy with the design. Once I'm happy with the layout, I'm going to go ahead and remove the backing from the rub-on transfers and go ahead and transfer them onto the project. 
and I like to use a little scraper tool for this. You could use uh, like a credit card. Uh, and depending on what surface you're putting these on, often they stick really easily without having to press much. Um, I found I did have to press more on this project. And if any of the edges are sticking up, you can just press those down really carefully with your finger. Now, just so you don't think that everything always goes perfect for me, I wanted to show you this. I did have trouble with the uh, transfer on this one word. It did not want to stick, and I, I had to just pull it up with part of the letters missing, and then I decided to go over the top of it with a thin Sharpie marker to fill it in. It's not perfect, but it will do. And sometimes, sometimes those things happen and you just have to improvise. So I think maybe my paint wasn't completely dry and that might have caused it. But anyway, this is what I got. I do want to protect these rub-on transfers, so I am going to use some of the Matte Finish Mod Podge and very carefully go over the top of those transfers to seal them onto the sign. After the Mod Podge has had a chance to dry, I'm going to take some of this black and white check ribbon from Dollar Tree and some greenery and add uh, this to the top of my sign. I just created a little bow and secured it with a little pipe cleaner and then I hot glued that to the top and then I am tucking in a few uh, sprigs of greenery just to tie it all in and finish it off. Then for the last step, I'm going to add those little tacks back in the corners of the white part of the sign. And I did add a little bit of hot glue just to help secure them because since I had popped them out, they were a little bit looser than they were before. And the last step is to add a little hot glue at the bottom of the easel to attach the sign. I'm only attaching it at the bottom because I don't want to put hot glue at the top to keep it the easel from opening. I love how this turned out. I think it's a beautiful decor piece just the way it is, but it's also functional. It will hold a recipe card or even a photo. And if you like to pull up recipes on the internet, you can also set your phone or tablet on this while you're cooking or baking. What a great gift to give to someone who likes to cook or bake or uh, as a housewarming gift or wedding present. I am really happy with how this turned out. Let me know in the comments if you have used these easels from Dollar Tree and what you use them for. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to set your notifications so YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day.